Oh, right. Oh, I just realized I missed Belt Fox in the little street title. There we go.
How does this... I'm trying to adjust my mic. Oh, actually, can I... can I get it... to stay here? Is there by chance a... nope. Nope, I think it's gonna stay right there. Apologies for the sounds of me bumping my mic. I'm still... trying to optimize desk space. So I had to do a little desk reorganization. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to find a spot where I can place my microphone, which is rather large, in front of my face without it also making it so I have to move my hand. Like, I can't, like, I, I want to go from my mouse to my keyboard, like, <laughs> like without just moving my hand left or right. Instead of having to, like, dip it towards me. Let's go ahead and get the, get this show on the road. So, hello, and welcome to a Sunday edition of Retro Rank Rhapsody. <coughs> um, today, we are uh, taking a look, well, we are taking a look at one game, and then we're going to be finishing up another one. Uh, today is, actually, now that I think about the last day of November, and we've had a little tiny mini theme of... Uh, hey, Axe. Um, we had a little mini theme of, uh, P PSX Cinema, which we have taken a look at games that are for the PlayStation that are quote-unquote cinematic. Games like Ekankagwa, uh, that are question mark MJ game, uh, and we're going to be wrapping it up, uh, with something that doesn't really seem like to be a PlayStation thing. This actually, if anything... Uh, seems to be a relic from the Sega CD, Turbo CD, er, uh, early DOS era. Although this technically was an early DOS game, uh, it came out for the PlayStation at roughly the same time. So, so uh, there is that. Um, we are taking a look at Fox Hunt, uh, a game by a company that's named Three Vision Gamers that doesn't have a Wikipedia article, and I only am playing it because I was looking at stuff that was for the PlayStation. I saw this, and you know what? <laughs> I'm like, let's try it. Let's see how bad can this possibly be. I have not played this game. Uh, however, when I have t talked to other people about this game, their reaction was, oh god, you're playing Fox Hunt. Which usually is not a good sign about the quality of this game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at uh, an FMV PlayStation game, for some reason published by Capcom, that somehow has combat controls, and I don't know what that means, and I'm not looking forward to it. But we're gonna find out together. Uh, that being said, uh, even though this game is probably about... I saw a long play, it looked like it took about an hour and a half, we're probably not gonna finish this game. You're just probably not gonna finish this game. Uh, but yes, uh, without further ado, also... And after we uh, finish that, or once we're once I've had enough of Fox Hunt, uh, it's that's not a good sign. <laughs> I'll say that go tell. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. 
Um, also, once we're fun or once we're done with Fox Hunt, we are going to finish up Enconcagua. Also, I'm going to note today is going to be a shorter episode because uh, I'm taking part uh, something later today, and I want to make sure I'm done by the time that starts. So I want to be courteous and not come in super late. So we are probably going to uh, not go <laughs> the full nor the full normal three hours. Although we'll probably at least do two, so it's not going to be that terribly short. Let's get this going. <laughs> Uh, also, I'm going to warn you, when I tested it, it's very dark. Like, it's very kind of hard to see the menus. And so if it looks weird, it's like, oh, my settings are off. No, that's just the way it looks. Like right here, it just looks super dark for some reason. Like, I'm actually playing it on the preview because it's slightly lighter. Uh, also, I do have a guide for this. Also, you can tell it's going to be a good sign when it's not Capcom's normal logo. I'm going to turn it down just slightly. Also, oh, for the PlayStation, this My is here, super grainy. Up next on the American Classic Channel, the Brian Dennehy Film Festival. Stay tuned. Good sign when your thing is a Brian Dennehy Film Festival. <laughs> Wait, George Lazenby? What? This is not exactly less stuff for a board course. Oh, Vasily. 1972, height of Cold War. KGB set me up as big time Hollywood producer to create television shows so bad, moral backbone of the United States would break. But Americans love it shows and soon Russians crave the same garbage, and Kremlin blamed me for destroying communism. Now I demand screen credit for all my shows, or else hidden Soviet nuclear missiles set to launch in 36 hours will cancel Los Angeles in mid-season. And to prove I am not loyal capitalist, you will also pay $100 million cash for this fit launch abort codes. Idiot! Moron! Don't kill him, he still has disc. <laughs> Small piece of land behind the railroad. 
outhouse is Ling Tofung Fung Open's Fung University War. Fung Yu. Ling, a master of Sissy Keto, the ancient art of hair pulling and slap fighting, must ward off attacks from vicious frontier morons. Hey, In your cycle. My horse just made number two in your hat. And I do a goatee on this future of your mama. Never mention my Well, that's certainly an intro. Uh, by the way, by the way, fun thing I saw on the IMDb, IMDb page for this: uh, our main character, uh, Jack Fremont, uh, is played by Andrew Bowen, uh, who is the current uh, voice of Johnny Cage. Okay, so I think that's new game, restore game, inventory, and options. We have three kit. The options are three key configurations that they'll explain what they are. Actually, I, wait, I think I do. Oh. oh, by the way, also here, we're playing. This game shouldn't give me power. This game is giving me power. It should not give me. This is so dumb. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's actually look at the guidance. Let's get through this. Okay. So when you're in an apartment, try to <laughs> grab the keys from inside the chair. Hey, Dolwich. I really like the one where he has to do, like, a full thing. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Okay, that's... But, okay. Oh, also, for some reason, there's this. Okay, that happened. <laughs> this is <a> game. <laughs> Paid bill. You may already be a winner. Cool. Trying to... Where is... Okay, I'm trying to... Where do I go? How do I go back? Okay, do I have to go for here? Okay, maybe I have to go back here. Hi, Jackie. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? 
Pick up, pick up, pick up. Oops, I forgot. It's the first of the month. That means you're not answering the phone. Stop. <laughs> Jack, I want my stuff back. Hey, Biffy Wiffy, turn off that video camera. <laughs> Stop it some more. It said grab the keys from inside the chair. He should be a World War One fighting. But boss, he's blind. We are going to put him in an old car, shake it up, and make airplane noises. Once again, we will prove that all is not what it seems. Boss, you're a genius. Welcome, friend. Welcome, friend. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> what? My keys. <laughs> okay, now that we have. I I have no clue A Twinkie See you Fred. I got a date with Destiny. At least she's got a friend for me. I am pressing buttons. I am pressing buttons. The buttons what the buttons do. I don't know. Jack, you got a quarter? For, for a cup of coffee? Ah, uh, sorry, Dean, you're all tapped out. How are you gonna like the book? I don't know just how it's funny. It's time for yes, 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 yes. Destiny TV's online game show extravaganza. Here's our first question for our players. What do you say, King? It's Destiny time. <laughs> In One Ton Tom Private Eye, what was the fat man's favorite snack? 
Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Claw, for a follow. That's right! Tropical oil! Man's a machine! Who said? Mister, if I had legs, I'd kick your behind. Barry Blake as Nubs Parker, episode 16 of License 2. Yeah, but he knows his TV. Now players, complete the rest of this TV moment. Is that an RC sign in the back? Are we that level of bar? Poison our water. Killed our cattle and burnt down the outhouse. Great pine. Bless you, scorchy died. Can't take away our pride. We're gonna stand and fight. Oh, Once commercial. again, our down. leader it's in over. It's over, champ. California. It's two kings. Yeah. <laughs> You're same time, same place on the net, dude. Next oh, welcome. Why you drink? Drink. <laughs> oh. oh, we're dead. <laughs> Guess the kid can't hold his booze. Booze. Cool, we died. Gonna make a hard wall banger with just a whisper of Galliano. I, this is what <sighs> ah. wait till they get a load of me. I mm -hmm. the fact that the guy who plays our main character is now the current Johnny Cage. Does it make me feel... Oh, also right, I forgot there's a skip video button. I... Mm. It says use the computer to go on, but... Yeah, I did remember seeing that. Missiles, do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. 
I do remember seeing that someone cut this entire... Uh... Yeah, that's what I was meaning. They, they, they cut a... They did essentially what they did with Tender Love and Care. Don't eat that. Don't eat it. Okay. Try this again. Or is that just going backwards? I think it's just going backwards. So, the fun thing about this game is that the walkthrough for this game is, like, maybe 10 paragraphs? I say he's bluffing. We can just call Washington and tell the director he's a tech blast. This maniac also has the board codes to stop Los Angeles from becoming the world's largest barbecue pit. He wants his payback from his shows of the 70s, and now you want me to tell Langley that he's bluffing? Woo! Hello, Jack. I'm the dealer. I am the croupier. And I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. We apologize for the circumstances, Jack. We're CIA. After the end of the Cold War, we've had cutbacks. Serious cutbacks, Jack. We need you to deliver a briefcase in exchange for a package. Now, if you do this, we will deposit $100,000 in your bank account. Alan and Ellen will be your contacts. Well, you know, um, I'm not a spy. We have reason to believe that a double agent has compromised our security and our identities. We don't need a spy, just a guy gonna be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great, really. I can't believe my luck. <laughs> but if I wanted to be filled with lead, I'd continue to eat the paint off my bedroom walls. We'll give you $500 in advance. Cool. <laughs> Sign me up. Get Chauncey. Thanks. Word has it that 20 years ago, the Fox had a kid with one of those hot TV starlets. A girl. I wonder if she's cute. <laughs> that sounds about right. Where's the Patsy? Oh dear. Well, here is your CD-ROM reader. You probably won't need it. I already got one. Not like this one, oh boy. It'll play anything, including coded government discs from any country on Earth. Cool. They got an actual bond to be in oh, this. Has been looking for the wolf for over. The wolf. I thought I was supposed to find a fox. Another cocktail? Oh, yeah. Wise guy amateur. I swear I'll never drink again. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, is he enjoying the vodka? Uh, I, f 
If you look up the IMDb page for it, it, like there is an IMDb page for this. Okay, how the hell do I get to the table? Yeah, I have to go over here. And yeah, Gary Coleman's in this game too. Collection agency, tax returns 1988. Blew my name on it. What? You're kidding, right? No. I was lying in wait. Fred, go away. Nah. Not now, Fremont. You've lived past your expiration date. <laughs> This game's a crime. Am I essentially just playing rock, paper, scissors? Okay, I I just I can fly floor, you Cool, he's dead. Jeez, Fred, you ever quit? Who are you?
Meet me at what a trip. Chelsea. Eight o'clock. My place. Take a Pictionary. Damn bloody nuisance, these undercover outfits and all. Oh, look, I'm, uh, I'm being followed. Frank, he's such a disappointment. Frank who? Now, what we have here is a DNA verification tracker. Try not to break it. We've identified your target's DNA and matched it to a graphic display inside this helmet. His code name is the Fox. Now, non-matching targets will be in green. The Fox will be in red. And the faint flecks of red you see are similar DNA strands that I share with the Fox. Now, the fox has always prided himself on being able to blend in with the crowd. This should separate him out nicely. But, um, fuck. Uh... Give me one second. I need to do something. There we go. Okay. Wait. What? How? How? How was I supposed to avoid that? Like, I don't think I had control. Do I seriously have to start the game over again? Okay, um... I'm going to do something uh, a little out of the ordinary, and hopefully this doesn't break something. Um,
Give me a hot second. Um, hopefully this doesn't... Or actually, maybe I need this one. Okay, let's uh, do this. I think you feel a lot better. What I'm gonna do is fill you full of game. Vacation tracker. Try not to break it. We've identified the name and things. Let's but, look um, at some more of this. Long story. Just an observation, but um. I think you should get out of here. Obvious. Who are you? Just thought I could help. Okay. I'll wear the sheep, but you're not shaving my head. Oh, you're skiing things. Could I say anything to you? I mean, you don't like it. Jack. Jack, bring me Jack, you are. You look shy. No, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. No, no, I mean, really. Shy. Oh, that. <laughs> I just want to see a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, I, I failed to do the, the normal adventure game thing. Oop. Dr. Fine? Dr. Howard? Dr. Fine? Chauncey! Oh, hello, dear boy. A little under the weather. Mix of Chinese with Mexican. Stomach feels like it's gonna explode. Doctor Adam Burns to proctology. Yes. <clears throat> Look, I'd love to discuss Nouvelle cuisine, but I figure you're here for a reason. Okay. <laughs> Quite right. Doctor, doctor. Okay, Oops. there we go. I've got a bad case of love. Oh, jet powered, you know. A small turbine's installed behind the binding. Okay. Oh, my ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Let's... Oh, sure. Oh, no, no, that's, uh, that is licensed music. <laughs> oh. Look, I, I'm looking for a particular actor I want to see. Oh, also, by the way, the fun thing about Frank, the killer character. What? Uh, is the fact that he is the main character from another FMV garbage fire. Uh, that being, he is the main character of American Hero. Okay, I have enough this section. Oh, let's skip that section. <laughs> that didn't look right. Ready? Yes. Three quarters of all the world's modems are. That is one. Cool. Yeah. Ben, I've been. 
keeping an eye on you, old boy. Hey, Jack! You looking for someone? Huh, Jack? Actually, I'm, uh, next in line for Street Fighter. I'm just waiting for, uh, Jean-Claude... Jean Jean-Claude! Oh, man, this guy, this is high score! Herbert! Yeah! <laughs> He's a world champion! I'm just kidding. Way to go, <laughs> Oh good, is this a running man? People are clearly Eurasian. You appear to be cockazoid. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not entertaining that situation. Seeking employment. If I live. Jinx! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Bye boys. No talking. Have a good time in prison. I wouldn't drop your soap. What about me? <sighs> okay. I'm good. Let's never speak of that game again. <laughs> Do something real quick. Um, there. Just wanted to make sure that was uh, done. And let me close that out. All right. Got the ranking playlist up. Yeah, I'm going to just windmill slam uh, that right there. Uh, that was horrendous. Uh, that was garbage. That might be the worst FMV game I've ever seen. <laughs> um, yeah, because let's see, we got. <sighs> yeah, you know what? It is kind of fascinating. Uh, I could art you could argue it's six six six, but also it is like some of these games in six 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 are at least interesting, or like have some sort of like reason why they would be here. Uh, that was just bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that fascinating. It is. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a nay everything. You can do decent. It's like it's it feels it pretty much everything. Everything everywhere all at once. That is just Bad. Also, it's three discs. Oh, on, man, where do we? Where did we put our question mark MJ? We put that at fifteen. That at least has some weird charm because they at least had to made the graphics. That was just bad on all counts. Uh, also, by the way, I uh, kind of glossed over it, but there is some uh, very not great jokes. That was, uh, bad. I 
I, I, I don't have much else to say other than Gary Coleman being in that. You know, that makes sense. That Gary Coleman would be in something like that. Uh, that was, I think, at that point in his career. Just trying to see who else was in it. Um... Like, uh, God, is Louis Arquette? That name sounds familiar. Oh, good. Someone who is uh, first known for on IMDb is Little Nicky. But also, I was told by Ginger. Um... Oh, uh, let's see, Gary Coleman. Uh, you just have a bunch of different actors who have been in. Who is? I'm curious. Who is the person who played? Fred, who are you? What What else were you in? Always been in Chicago Fire, Chicago Fire, Grey's Anatomy. He's been in a lot of like he looks like a actual, like he looks like a TV actor that seems to be getting a lot of work. So, uh, it is Jerry Ker uh, Kernian. Oh, he's also a director. What did, what have you directed? A bunch of shorts. What is your most recent thing? Yeah, it looks like he's done a lot of bit acting. I'm just trying to see if there's anything notable. Um. Yeah, he's been in like one episode of a lot of different things. Doesn't look like he has a whole lot that's recurring. Oh, he's in an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. That sounds about right. Oh, he was also in the... He did a voice in the Blade Runner adventure game. Okay. Well, with that, oh, let's move on to our next game. All right, so I left... We left Aconcagua off on a cliffhanger. So now it is time to actually do a decent game. <laughs> Time also for me to get the walkthrough out. Okay. Let's load.
What treatment? I never thought Lopez was the traitor. There's no time. I have to find Pachamama. Okay. Season time for a nap. Uh, let's see. Can I... Tariff starts in Rafa Nadine. Safe date. <laughs> okay, check the other rooms. Get the card key. See is it? See. Okay, so is it just those two? So is it just? Okay, I take it they're keeping Posh Mama in a different cell. See a wall that can be climbed.
must be some sort of control room. Explosives. Let's see if I can climb up here. That looks like somewhere something that I could. See, is it the same room? Actually, not one hundred percent certain where I am. Let's see. Oh. Can I not? Or is that locked? Is that game? Game, please. Watch room. Okay, engineer kit. At the Spanish inspection drill alarm with the fire drill. Is there anything else in here? Let's see, elevator. One's locked. Uh, yeah, uh. Okay. Okay, there should be another room. Huh? Power storage. Let's see, Julia's knife and her lighter. Sensor of some kind. Okay. 
Is there another thing that I'm missing? I wish I could get on top of these so that I could... I wonder if I can go back up here. Let's see. I wonder if it's supposed to be another room that has a fire alarm. I think that's the... Yeah, that's that room. It's the elevator right. I don't think there was anything else.
Where is... Time to resort to the long play video. Yes, you did miss Fox Hunt, and you missed us giving it a 21 because that game is horrendous garbage. <laughs> but you are here for the finale of Nkankagua. Providing I could figure out the... Providing I can get the flags to work. Or I can trip whatever flag I need to... Okay, nope. Other direction. Okay. Are breaking on this floor? You idiot. Okay. Nope, I think it's the other... I don't know why they really thought that this other... This control mechanism was the way to go... Okay, now... It's a sensor of some kind. Yes, it is. Thank you! Good, now the two control, the two sounds that did not work are now playing simultaneously. Was oh, this, did I go backwards? Yeah, that did go backwards. Okay, I think it was this way. Okay. Uh, cause they're for... Oh, so go to... Car key. Um, let me see.
go. Took all my stuff, except for the fact that I... Give that toolkit. Pachamama, I don't know. Tinder and just now's our chance. Hey Julia, I have your shank. Yep, we set off that fire alarm. Excellent. Perfect. Oh, actually, before I continue, I will be right back. All right. Let's see. That's the... No, it's this one. That...
where is my mouse? Where is my mouse? Okay, so now I got to get both Kato and Julia over there. Can you hear me? Let's see. Being held somewhere on the fourth floor, a monitor of the troop can keep it up. Where is Pachamama? Here is going to be tight. Let's see. Okay. Okay, time for the beep, everyone.
Ha! Perfect. Um, let's see. your control panel. Ah, there it is. Let's it. Turn the lights on remotely. Perfect. Tabs and Pachamon has been concerned it's faster for some time. We gotta get to work quick. Electrified four, great. Also, apparently, Check machine. Oh, whoops. I misread medicine. <laughs> it's machine. Her machine is medicine. Kato, can you hear me? The air duct leads here. If you use it carefully, they'll never spot you. Pachamama should be somewhere beyond there. I could never do it myself, though. <laughs> I don't do small, dark places. Okay. Hey, there's health kit. 
Perfect. After Marusa and his con the crossroad to govern the rebels, Pachamon is the only one who can prevent the country falling back into darkness. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Director Prezer has been held here, the politician artist scholars, six you said this place is used to combine political, political dissidents. Okay, I guess there's a... It says find, read the three highlighted ones, but also... Oh, there it is. Up here, it's a war from Epic and now the brink of going back. Dark huge god, find Pachamama. Oh, hi. Okay, let me check something. I can hear them. Pachamama, por fin puedo hablar contigo sin obstáculos. López, tu objetivo es matarme. Por Dios, ¿de qué quieres hablar? Es verdad, las tropas de gobierno te quieren muerta. Pero ese no es mi objetivo. ¿Qué? Mi objetivo es aniquilar a la guerrilla en las montañas. López. Bueno. ¿Dónde está la base de operaciones? No tengo ni idea. No puedes hacerte el inocente siempre. Tú debes saber dónde están las bases. ¿Dónde están? ¡Dilo! ¡Stop! ¡López! ¡Cato! ¿Cómo did you get in here? ¡López! ¡Let her go! ¡Shut up! Get away! Okay. Okay, that's <laughs> ominous. Okay, so let's see. Journal report blood. Stay moving, but stay close. Journal should be saying wait a lot if it's working. Ah. 
Oh, the vibrating control is vibrating good. Pachamama, are you all right? I'm all right. And what about the others? Don't worry. They are all okay. Thank God. No time to lose. Let's get to the Independence Memorial Square. You're absolutely right. Steve on the roof. Kato, can you hear me? They see the entrance on the ground level. What? Means it's control panel. Prevent them using the elevator. They know where you are, but I'm not letting them get to you. So I escape. There's a helicopter problem for takeoff of the roof of the base. That's the only thing that that is that thing is our only ticket out of here. Right, right, soldier on the roof. I don't think so. They've all been called security at the ground level. Got it. If I were going to get to the roof, the elevator is disabled. About that. Don't worry, I'll find another path to the roof. I'll meet you guys there. We need to get the roof. Right, it's our only hope. I pray that Steve is all right. Is it a power failure? I don't think so. Someone must have killed the power. Shit. What do we do? Dark to make out. Dark to see. Uh, so that is because for some reason, uh, let me turn, let me turn it down a little bit. Uh, so for some reason, whenever the lighter is used, uh, the mister does not like using it. No, it is not supposed to sound like that, but for some reason... Hey, Rejects. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. Can you read this for me? There's some instructions. 
how to evacuate emergencies. There's a escape hatch in the ceiling. Ceiling, you say? Okay. Um. Find service over. Talk to. Well, it's slimeable. If he isn't too close to the wall, you can light a... Okay. There we go. Okay. It's fire hose. Hey, this should be a makeshift rope. Too much time just to get up here. Steve might be waiting for us. Let's hurry. Yeah. So, this right here is the final safe spot. I was cornered this guy. All right, so before we uh, do this last section, I will be right back.
All right. Let's do this. That must be the helicopter Steve was talking about. Lopez, I thought you were dead. Get off my back. I cut off. There is something I need from Hachamama. Eh, mi venganza. Venganza? Recuerda que los terroristas bombardearon con jurencia hace tres años. Sí. Los terroristas al intentar bombardear al gobierno mataron a muchos civiles. Sí. Y esa bomba mató a mi querida familia y las guerrillas de la montaña. Fueron responsables de ese bombardeo. Ese día juré que me vengaría por la muerte de mi familia. Ahora, tú sabes por qué les odio tanto. ¿Dónde están las bases de operaciones secretas? Espera, López. Yo sinceramente no sé nada. Es verdad, tenemos contactos con ellos, pero yo no los conozco bien. Yo no sé dónde están sus bases secretas. Entiendo. Entonces, tú no me sirves de nada. No me dejas alternativa. ¡Tenéis que morir todos! Okay. So. Let's do a save state. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's right. Okay. Okay. Okay, he's about to run to break out into the open on the far right. Ah! She must get shot. Um, let's see. Okay. This patch moment to break on the open far right. She must get shot. Race cuts over to the next set of crates on the left. Forward until you see an electrical panel. Okay, you know what? Oh, right, I don't have access to that. This one. Okay. Like, you're just electric panel. You need Julio to break cover.
Okay. I think I'm going to fail this, but... Yep, wrong one. Mierda, alguien ha estropeado la luz. Okay, you know what? Now I have the chance. Okay, so save send Pachamama to the crane near crate near crane. in the building. These Pachma Sen, right?
Okay. 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 So. Steve, please. Steve, is that you? Julia? Where the hell are you? We're on the next building. Steve, turn on the lights. What? Turn on the lights right now. Okay. Oh, good. He has full health. Okay, so... Oh, I was right here. Throw the gun. Yeah. We have to move right away. Okay. Thank you for making the subtitle audios. <laughs> we Metroid now. Okay, so let's see. You need to get to the copyright on that platform. Okay.
Okay, are you cut with water now? I guess so. And that's Anger and Kogwa. So the controller is vibrating like mad. Of the dawn is broken. You're right. But it's merely the beginning of a new Marusa. The new Marusa has only just started.
presidential election followed under UN monitoring, and Pachamama was inaugurated as president. This is the whole story of my own experiences during the incident. And there we go. That was Ankankagua. Uh, that was a infinitely superior game to <laughs> Fox Hunt. Oh, I do like that they did the credits like that. Oh, I find it funny that they put the patrons in there. Um, yeah, so, like, I find it interesting that, like, I find the game, for, like, an adventure game, it's pretty good. Like, it is definitely one of the better adventure games I've played. That being said, I feel like they felt like, oh, this is like a computer, or like a computer style game. Uh, to the point where I feel like the control, like they made it so that it was like a mouse control style game. Uh, and I don't think that was necessary. Uh, cause you can do this style of game with direct control. Uh, say for example, or the PlayStation mouse. Yes. Um, there's a game for the SNES called Marvelous Adventure, another, tre another treasure island that does a similar, uh, <laughs> a similar kind of thing. Uh, but what it does is you have control and you even have control of multiple people. Oddly enough, this feels actually kind of very similar to it. Uh, but what you would do is you'd have full control, but then you press a button and it's like, oh, here's your button or your hand to like move and like, like, hey, poke at objects. And I feel like something like that would have been a better control scheme than what they did here. Uh, but yeah, you got games like Clock Tower. <coughs> yeah. And, uh, that's it. So, with that, let's rank. Okay, so. Let me get my mouse. Um, definitely one of the higher ups. Uh, let's look at what we have for adventure games. I should do it like this. This is probably going to get every... Okay, so... If we look at two, we got games like Paradigm, and we got... Return of the Oberdin. Which I don't think that... I think that those are still better than this. So I don't think it's quite... And also Valhalla. I think that those games are better played than this. Uh, in three, you got games like Contradiction... You have Echo Knight, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw, Moon Remix RPG Adventure. Uh, I feel like those games also um, are better adventure games than this was. Uh, that being said, um, do you also have Planet Laika in 3? But I think Planet Like has a little bit more to offer than this. Um, when we get to four, uh, we got we have Clock Tower. Uh, Curves Adventure is not an adventure game. Uh, we have Seven Max Hit the Road. So we have Seven in four. We have Seven Max, and we have um, we have the clock. We have Clock Tower. I kind of feel like this is on level with the first clock tower. 
Uh, there is a lot of production value in this. Like, they really went the extra mile in terms of production and value on this. The voice acting was actually very good and had... Uh, is something you really don't see a whole lot in Japanese games. You see a lot of English, uh, because Japan has a lot of... <laughs> uh, uh, expatriate, uh, like, English speakers. You do not see Spanish a lot. Uh, and I feel like this game actually... Uh, from what I could tell, it seemed to have pretty decent Spanish uh, dialogue. Uh, also, it just in general, it just felt pretty damn good. Outside the, <laughs> outside the controls, uh, and that last segment being a little finicky, I think this game was, in fact, pretty damn good. Uh, it would have been interesting if they did this on the PS2, but for the PS1, it seemed perfectly good. Um, yeah, I, well, I think it's just trying to emulate, hmm, it isn't, you don't see a whole lot of like, just common drama, but yeah, I feel like this, of the games that are trying to uh, do themselves as interactive movies, this one I think is probably up there. Uh, I think <laughs> it definitely does the interactive movie well, and I think the charm of this game's good. I think it looks good for a PlayStation 1 game. Uh, that being said, I don't... I'm not going to mark down the contr uh, what I'm going to do. I'd say for Nay, I don't like the controls. Uh, but <laughs> what I will say is for charm... Uh, they definitely uh, made this. They definitely did their due diligence with this game, and they made this with abundant love. Uh, I will also extend that made with abundant love to the um, translator. Hilltop did a fantastic job of uh, <coughs> getting in there and translate or in subtitling all the um, all the text, and also um, just the translation in general. It seemed to be pretty good. So, there's that, and that was Anconcagua, and that is this month's look at PlayStation 1 cinematic games. Uh, a fun land of... A a, a, Retro Rank Rhapsody is a land of contrast. Uh, you get games like Anconcagua, and you also get complete garbage like Fox Hunt. So... With that, uh, that is going to do it for today. So uh, let's go ahead and get this ball out of here. That's not how that metaphor goes, but we're, we're done. <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, my personal Twitter, or personal Twitter is at Load of Puzzle, and also my personal co-host is at uh, Load of Puzzle as well, if you are in using that service. I do also have a Discord to chat where you can go, yeah, chat with me, take part in polls, and do other fun stuff. Find that by going to club.hazel.town. I do also have a coffee page where you can help with posting costs and various other things. Uh, you can go that to cafe.hazel.town to do that. I do also have, if you're watching this on a VOD, you can watch these live Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Sarah's at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and Sunday's at 1 p.m. Eastern Time at theater.hazel.town or twitch.tv slash hold the puzzle. If you do want to watch VODs, the best place to do it is at bekindrewind.hazel.town. Uh, videos are uploaded Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 8 a.m. Eastern. This one will go up on Friday. Uh, there are also two shows on the YouTube channel, Media Delta and Hazeltown Story, which do not get shown on Twitch, uh, because they are pre-recorded and all that. Those are on the YouTube and also the podcast channel. Uh, Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern uploads for those. If you want to get them in your podcatcher, go to radio.hazeltown. It'll tell you all about how to do that. So, uh, I am ending early today. Uh, one, because we finished what we're doing. But also because I am about to actually appear. Uh, I am going to be playing in... Uh, Real Slavic Bears uh, Dragon Day Anniversary, which is uh, the play people that are not them are playing the game today. So I'm going to go ahead. I am taking part in that later on today. So I hope you uh, join me there. I hope you have a good rest of whatever time it is and you're watching. And see you all later. Bye.